Amid growing tensions between NATO and Russia, representatives from both sides squared off at NATO headquarters in Brussels. The difficult talks did not produce any significant outcome as deadlocks continue over security concerns in Ukraine. Russia, which has mobilized 100,000 of its troops at the border with Ukraine, says Kiev can never join the alliance. NATO, meanwhile, accuses Moscow of aggressive behavior and reiterated its so-called open-door policy. The allies totally agree that uh, uh, it is uh, only Ukraine and 30 allies that can decide when Ukraine is ready to become a NATO member. No one else has anything to say. And of course, Russia doesn't have a veto on uh, whether uh, uh, Ukraine can become uh, a NATO uh, member. While NATO focuses on Ukraine, one analyst in Moscow says the Russian muscle flexing at the border should be seen as a much larger strategy on the part of the Kremlin. From Russian point of view, it's not about Ukraine, at least it's not uh, about Ukraine only. It's about uh, how the security environment in Europe uh, is being structured. And uh, this idea, uh, which prevailed after the Cold War, that the core of European security is NATO. And what Russia is trying to do, to invite for a discussion how differently it can be organized. What the Kremlin will do next is anyone's guess. While this analyst rejects the possibility of a full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine, he says Russia does feel threatened by NATO's expansion to former Soviet countries. Both sides have nevertheless decided to continue the dialogue and meet again in the near future. Brian Carter for Euronews.